Today we're at the Melvin Municipal Building and we're actually going to talk to the people in our Crime Analysis Unit of the Greensboro Police Department. They're going to give us an inside look of exactly how they tie in to Greensboro Police Department. So Brandon, how long have you been with the City of Greensboro? Uh, well, I've been working with the City uh, for over 10 years, um, I, but I've been with the Greensboro Police Department for two and a half years. Two and a half years. And have you been in the role of um, Crime Analysis Supervisor for uh, that Yes, time? for the last two and a half years I've been in the, in the role of Crime Analysis Supervisor. And Crime Analysis Supervisor, that sounds so interesting. What do you do as Crime Analysis Supervisor? Maybe walk me through what your day is and how you interact with your staff. Well, the, uh, um, we have a team here uh, of four analysts plus myself. Um, and on a daily basis, uh, the team here comes in um, and they look at crime that's happened uh, overnight um, for the last 24 or 48 uh, hours um, and, and different, different time spans. And uh, they try to identify uh, crime patterns or common elements uh, uh, to crime that have taken place. Wow, is there a busier time? Um, now's Monday morning. We're here on a Monday morning. Are you busier coming in Monday, or is it busy throughout the week, or is the work kind of throughout the week kind of the same? Well, I would think with the weekend it'd be a little busier on the. It's a little bit busier. Uh, we're also trying to prepare for some some internal meetings uh, where we're bringing uh, command staff up to up to date on. Uh, uh, information from the past week, mm. some things that have happened from the past week. Um, and so there is that. Uh, we tend to be a little bit busier uh, because the, the weekend tends to be right. uh, a little bit higher for violent crime. Um, so some of that stuff is getting reviewed as well. Wow, that sounds interesting. So what are some of your goals for this department? Because it sounds like you handle a lot of information, especially data. So tell me about your goals for the department. I think our main goal is is to provide accurate and timely information to help decision makers, uh, whether it be inside the police department or outside the police department, um, make better, more informed choices. Hi, Ms. Dolores, how are you? I'm great, how are you doing? Good, I love your outfit today. Well, thank you. Yes, yeah, so it looks like you are steady working on something. Absolutely. We talked about some reports. Are you working on actually one of those reports? I'm working on a report right now for a police officer, actually. Oh, okay. So tell me a little bit about what is involved with your job, because what is your job exactly? What do you do here? We do a lot. Okay. And the official title of it is Crime Analyst? Is yes. that what it is? Yes. Okay. So what does that mean? If you're going to be real official, it's real Crime official. Analysis Specialist. Oh, that's real official. Okay. But um, what we do is uh, we track crime trends, we look for patterns, we, a typical day is we come in in the mornings if we have any requests from command staff or police officers, uh, we can work on those, but typically most of us come in and start our day by looking at the crime that's occurred in the past. So is that the technology piece? Because I did see a map on your screen. So could you maybe walk me through exactly what that map was about? Because I saw the United States, but it looked like you were going to drill down to North Carolina That's right, yeah. and show me Greensboro mm -hmm. and show me downtown where we are now. So I need to see that because I right. want to see what's happening. Perfect. Okay. So Let's you can show it. me. Okay. Yes. Of course, my computer timed out on me. All right. So crimemapping.com, this is for the public's mm -hmm. uh, consumption. And uh, we have technology um, that's, it's the same company, uh, but there are different sets of technology, some for our mm -hmm. analysts, some for our police officers. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be for the public, and so this is what the public would see. So you have this map of the United States when you bring up crimemapping.com. Okay. And um, there's really two ways you can go about getting your information. One is, is you can click on the map okay. and get down to Greensboro, North Carolina that way. So um, I'll show you that way because I'm a map person. I like, I like maps. Same here. So 
Uh, once we select North Carolina, we have different agencies that are also using the okay. same software. So we can select uh, Greensboro Police Department, and then that's going to drill down uh, on Greensboro. And what you're seeing right now is each one of these uh, dots represent a crime, and there's a different symbol for the type of crime that it is. Um, and this is showing for the last week in the city of Greensboro. I was about to say, Brandon, that's a lot of dots for today. So that's a week's worth of that's data. That's a week's worth of data. And that's, <laughs> okay, that's you scared what comes me. up okay. by default. Okay, all right. Um, so what you want to do then um, is if you know the area that you want to go to, is you can move the map around and, uh, and you can zoom in. So, for example, um, we could zoom into the down, downtown area um, here, and then I can select a particular type of crime. And oh. uh, here we have a, a DUI um, that took place. And it's gonna tell you some information, uh, the case number, the date, uh, the location, and the description of what it was, as well as give you some links uh, to crime prevention tips and over to um, our P2C website. Um, I'll click on another one. You can see here we have. Is uh, that robbery? This the theft. Is theft. Okay. The dollar signs were kind of a clue for me. Right, so right. So okay. That's, so that's theft. And again, um, case information, the date, the location within the block. And, wow. Uh, and the description. So, in addition to that, you saw when we were when we were zoomed out that you have um, you have different types of crime uh, uh, on here. So Brandon, thank you so very much for chatting with us today. I have to say I learned some information. Now, when I leave here, I'm going to go look up my parents' address. I'm going to go find what happened and everything that I saw you do today. I can't wait to leave here and go do that. But thank you so very much. We enjoyed learning about the mapping, crimemapping.com. Is that what it's called? It yes. And also just having us here today. I know you're taking time out of your busy schedule. So thank you so very much for showing us around and talking to us. Thank you. How interesting that was. Who knew all of this existed in our crime analysis lab? I learned about crimemapping.com. I learned about the different districts that actually are observed by the different technicians that are in crime analysis. Boy, what a morning we had. So if you have any information whatsoever that you want to find out about your neighborhood, remember crimemapping.com. And you can also get those alerts sent to your email or your Apple phone and soon to be the Android phone. Android's got to catch up with Apple, I tell you. Also, if you just simply want some more information, as always, you can go to the City of Greensboro's website and go to the Greensboro Police Department and all of that information is there. And just remember, as always, that's the way Greensboro works.